All right, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Manipur's Worldwide Safari. We're trying to get the Animal Kingdom achievement and Fanatic Collectivist. But things look a little different from what I remember. Some drunk bastard came staggering into my home and decided to play my EU4 save last night. I know this because they managed to spend all my money and give me a buttload of corruption, but I can't hold it against them because they seem to have won the war against Dali. Even though we can't see all of Dali, I should probably fix that right away. Let's go marching right over there. We can do now that Yunnan has fallen. Okay, so yeah, our goal is to take over the Bengal region, convert it all to glorious animism that we're having a very hard time doing right now. And once we have established our little power here, we're going to sail off over to the old, old world and try to pick up all the institution spawning locations. I don't know where they all are. Well, there's only two at the moment. Why don't we find out about them? Well, feudalism is a moot point. That doesn't spawn anywhere. But the Renaissance was over in Verona, so we know we're going to have to get in whoever controls there. Probably going to be Tuscany, because I always fail with them. <sighs> Jake, you're a bit too loud voice-wise. That's not, I don't remember mucking around with much here. Ah, it happens. Now that is actually a bit strange. Do 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 do. All right. Either that, or maybe it's the music that needs to go up. I don't know. A testing, a testing, a one, two, three. There we go. I dropped down the gain a fair bit, but you let me know how it is. <clears throat> Jake, Wikipedia has a page on Manipur. You're acting in their spirit. Well, yes, I am. Like I said, we're staying true to the animism ways. We have to for the achievement. And spreading it is proving a bit tough. We've got so much of the Hindus and the Theravadans in our country. But anyway, let's get down to Dali. I fought a fairly good war against them, but really I would not have won it if it weren't for Lang Shang getting all involved there. So I'm very grateful to them for that. We have a free diplomat to sign our peace, but I want to uncover this province first, so I guess we can unpolish from there. I also don't want to pay my units, although I'm still hemorrhaging money. And I should probably cancel some of those condottieri that are costing me money, but, oh man. There is no money to be had here. Absolutely, Nepal. Anyone can have access if they want it. Now, I was debating about what peace deal to sign with poor little Dali here. And I still am. I think everybody that wants military access can have it right now. It certainly makes it less likely that they're going to declare war upon us. And Dali are begging for peace, but I will give them no such thing yet. I'm begging for money here. I need to uncover Guiyang on the double. There we go. So that tells us that there's probably some Ming on the border here. It looks like Ming to me. We got Yi, who have these two provinces. I think this is Shu. And here is Changsheng. Okay, so with that in mind, we need to forge ourselves a peace deal. Now I want to take Dali, it's their capital, might as well strip their namesake away from them. I kinda want Yunnan, but I kinda don't want to anger everybody, because together these two are a lot of development, 12 and 15. It pains me not to take that fort. But what I'm going to do, I actually spent a bit of time thinking about this, is I'll take Yangsheng and Dehong. That doesn't really stir up anything in way of uh, coalition. I already know that Nepal and Koch hate me, and Dali, well, will have a tonking big truce. I'm taking all their money, and I need to break up their alliances. Not so much Khmer. I think a Khmer alliance will only bring trouble for them. But I cannot have them allied with La Na. That is just trouble. I want the war reps, I always want the war reps. But what else can we do? Well, I'm having them revoke their cores on me. I don't want them having a core on this, that, that, or that. But, do I really? And the answer is, I would actually like them to still have their core on Mong Huang. This land is going to revolt against me, I just know it. But these are only highlands, whereas Mong Huang is mountainous. So if they revolt here and here, they're going to be forced into a river-crossing mountain battle with me and Mong Quang. So I'm doing this to prepare for myself for the inevitable rebels. There's nothing really worth returning that I can even afford. Doesn't seem to piss off anyone too much, so we'll do it and we can finally repair ourselves as a nation. Also, I'm looking forward to 
not being so horribly in debt. So this is rather nice, but what do I need to do now? Shen we still kind of like me to the point of not wanting to revolt. We want to keep it that way. I really want Bengal to love me. To the point where I want to... Um, I want to rival Ava, but Ava is allied with Lang Shang. And Lang Shang doesn't hate me. They're very close to being able to join a coalition against me. But I want to know how their war goes. Depending on how it goes, I will or won't rival Ava, because I'm looking to Lang Shang as a potential ally. It just requires him to successfully beat off everybody that's around him. Now, Dali have been punched, but they can bounce back. Hell, they bounced back during our war. Lana is nothing to be scoffed at, and then, of course, there's Khmer. So we need to keep a close eye on how that war goes. All my current troops just retire back home. And hopefully we don't have to face too many rebels. We are hemorrhaging money as usual. Can't see any way to cut down on the expenses that we have. Kind of want to reduce inflation, but I don't want to spend extra on it. Uh, and Dehong, uh, Shan separatists, I don't think I want to have to deal with those. So I'm going to turn to Shen Wei and say, and say, here you go, you can have the Hong. I don't want it. Just make sure I'm giving away the right province. I made a terrible mistake in a Golden Horde game I was playing privately once. Oh yeah, I just have this province. Oh yeah, I just gave away my country. When do you think you'll need to start the charge west to ensure that you can get printing press and such like, Jake? It seems that you'll have a lot of coring to do if you want to punch through Central Europe unless you're planning to do a naval route. I do plan to do a naval route. The question is finding that naval route. Ideally, I could punch my way down to Arakan and get this. However, I am very well aware that the Theravadans hate my guts, so I might have to go the Chinese route. The trouble is, you get extra aggressive expansion if you're eating up people whilst you're in a different uh, religious group. We're pagan, we're a different religious group to just about everybody on Earth, except good old Yi, you can see, because Yi only have 9 aggressive expansion with us to take Dali, they have 58. So, so, so. Jake, what about the condottieri? We have a bit of problem with that. I can't actually return Shu's condottieri because I don't know where they came from. Uh, once we uncover Shu, we'll be able to go to them and say, take your troops back. Until then, we can do little. However, I actually quite like having them in my country since, well, let's be honest, I'm paying protection money to them whilst I still wait for my own country to repair. The downside is that that protection money is really expensive. It's most of our income, and that's including the reparations that we're getting from Da... crap, what's this? Mong Huang, I don't want to go under the control of anybody. But I don't want the clergy and the nobility to both hate me, but I can't let the clergy get more power. And I don't want the nobility to hate... well, actually, you know what, we can take both of these, that's alright. Nah, both of them can just bugger off. They have too much power as is. And it doesn't look like I can milk them for their magical uh, leader mana. So no, they can both go to hell. They're both still loyal, thankfully. Jake, maybe you can steal maps. This is on the to-do list if I can find someone that loves me. I would quite like Yi to love me. They might make a good ally, but similarly they might make good food. They're guaranteed by both Dali and Shu. We don't know about Shu, except I know their troops are powerful. They half won the war for me. But maybe Yi and I can come to an agreement. I need to tell Dali that I hate them, though. And I... well, Pegu? Who hates Pegu? Lana and... well, they hate me. Still, Yi might be somebody I could consider as a friend, so I want to improve relations with them. But similarly, I want to be in a position where I can eat them. That's just not going to be the case whilst they have decent allies. I'm also going to pull our diplomat from Shen Wei and try to get into Lang Shang's pants. I'm trying to cut it between Lang Shang and Bengal. I think Bengal is the superior one here. Shen Wei throwing insults to Ava as if to say, please attack me, I hate living. Jake, can you ask the nobility for manpower? I could, they would hate me though. And those levies are titchy, so I'd rather not. I'd rather keep them at giving me extra manpower recovery speed right now for all that that amounts to. Maybe I shouldn't be subsidizing Shen Wei's manpower, but I know that they're low on it as well. And I can know exactly how low, thanks to rights of what the hell. 
You ain't getting subsidized armies any longer. They don't need it. And good, we're not relying on any temporary modifiers to keep them sweet. Well, it might be a good idea if I actually cord some of the land that I took. Just, uh, just a thought. Otherwise, we'll just keep hemorrhaging money for a while. Oh, shoo! Hello! Nice! Okay, now, uh, I'm actually not sure if I want to return these condottieri, since they make excellent protection. But I'm not planning on being at war anytime soon, and if Shu like me, and they don't hate me, actually Shu would be a wonderful person to get as a good ally. We both hate Dali. They think I'm pitiful, but uh, Shu might be a better one than Lang Shang. Just depends how Lang Shang does in this war. Well, what? Did I Utaya? Defender against Lang Shang and Lang Shang. Oh. They hate Lang Shang. I bet they enforced peace. I bet they enforced peace. That's incredible. Do we have... Right, I know what I can do. Friendly in a hundred relations or more. Ayutthaya enforced peace on Lang Shang. Lang Shang is going to die. I have no interest in being their ally anymore. Heck, I have a vested interest in killing them now. The only problem is I can't expand here anymore. The aggressive expansion is already on tender hooks. Best target I have right now really is Yi. And the moment people stop guaranteeing him is the moment I can strike him. And I know he won't expand because Ming is breathing down his throat. So where are we going with this essentially? I should probably cancel that Condottieri as much as I love them. They're costing me money that I don't have. And... And, 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 I want to be their friend, so we'll improve relations with them. Make friends with Ayutthaya, Jake. They're too far away. They would never care about me. I want him. I can't afford him, but I want him. Yeah. We're going to root out all of our corruption. We're going to pay off all that burning money that we did. And we're going to convert our country. We're still a zealot, we get these things done super fast, but I've got a lot to do. Also, these provinces want to rise up against me. I'm kind of leaning extremely heavily on the clergy here, but I'm probably going to have to for most of this game, because they're going to help me convert everything. And there's not much more to it than that, especially outside of my culture group. I don't want to add any more provinces to states until I've paid off all that corruption. But we'll be okay. Still, Ayutthaya. Yeah, there's no way they'd want to be my friends. They're minus 105 towards that. Shu, however. Let's not make the mistake of... Uh, I can't even rival them. Okay, but now that I know that Lang Shang is dead to me, they are not going to win this war. I mean, look at that. Dai Viet, Lang Shang, and Pegu will not win against Ayutthaya. They're so damn strong. That said, though, they appear to be losing. What could it mean? Nah, I'm sure that's just those blockades. Uh, Bengal, I need you not to lose as well. Hmm, I mean, Vijayanagar is getting Condottieri from here, there, and everywhere, but so are Delhi and Malwa, who are also involved in this war, and they've been their friends for quite some time. Okay. I hate Ava. They... The difficulty with rivaling Ava is... What the hell, I'll do it anyway. Please love me, Bengal. I eased those tensions, even. Jake, have you thought about culture shifting to Chinese for that sweet everything? Culture shifting to Chinese would be amazing. Champa is going for Dai Viet. Ming dishonored. But Lang Shang did not. Lang Shang is now 120% dead. I'd love to say this opens up opportunity, but the aggressive expansion that I have is just too high for me to act on it. I wish I could, well and truly. What I want to be is Shu's friend. I'm even improving relations with Yi. To be honest with you, the reason I want to befriend Yi is to get maps of China. 
because we're still a long way from any kind of spread of discovery. But they seem awfully not interested in being my friend. We'll give it a while though. If I marry them, they would befriend me. Uh, nowhere near wanting to be a subject, but I mean, I could do with a friend. Ye don't appear to have any natural enemies, I and mean, they don't even have people um, getting claims on them. Ooh, okay. Remember when Utsang was everybody's favorite whipping boy? Seems that they've made a comeback here, and they've annexed most of Nepal. I don't think they're about to hand that province over to me, but it would be nice. Calm hate me, that's okay, but I really want Shu as a friend. Shu does not hate Yi, but Yi is an enemy of Shu. Given the two of them, I would far rather have Shu as a friend. But I don't think Shu is... well, it's possible. If I marry them... I should probably be engaging in shoe friendliness a lot faster than Yi friendliness, because Yi makes a good friend. We have mutual hatred of Dali, you're allied with Wu, whoever that is. Okay. Alright, you know what, I'm less interested in befriending Yi now. I definitely... why are shoe units down there? Good, you appear to be winning just want a friend. If anybody would turn friendly towards me, then that's what I need. I don't think you're going to change anything for now. We still have eased tensions, which is quite nice. But probably what's best is that nobody's able to join a coalition against me. I guess Koch and Langshang? No, it wasn't Langshang. I mean, people could, but they won't, because they're good. I just... Okay, soon I'll be able to marry Shu. And then we'll go ever closer to having a meaningful relationship. Why don't you declare for money? I would love to. Pfefenus says, I forget, he didn't start with feudalism. Yeah, that was an upward struggle from the get-go. We don't even have feudalism in all our lands. Kashar is still growing it. It'll be there in a few years, but we'll get there. Uh... Ooh. Nobility or merchant guilds? Who do I need to love me? Merchant guilds I could do with a bit more love, but the nobility are more likely to... Uh, mm, I, I could get some manpower out of that for sure. And it's not like I make... Actually, all my money comes in from taxes and certainly not from anything else, but autonomy change for 10 years is... 5% autonomy everywhere, and I don't like that. Goodbye, money. Ugh. Okay, Vijayanagar has broken the royal marriage they had with Arissa. So I think Arissa is on the goodbye list there. What could it all mean? Shoo, I love you, please. Let's marry. That's good, that keeps them off my back. Brings us ever closer to an alliance, but we're still far away from it. This greedy, fertile individual. So I need to get conversions going, but where? Where indeed? Kashar Naga are kind of crying to me about that, but since we have extremely good conversion right now, I would be more suitable to focus on high development provinces like Assam, like Mongyang. Mongyang is probably a top notch one for this, I just I hope they don't revolt against me. No, best places to target our recent revolt. Thank goodness for that animism minus revolt risk. Jake, be sure to set yourself as threatened to your potential allies, enemies, and rivals. I don't think it works when you manually set it. The game knows if you're threatened by them or not. This game knows a lot. We still have the annexed subject Malice. That was a while ago that we actually integrated Kashar, but... Just, uh, just goes to show how fast this has gone. So we've only been playing for 24 years, not even. And we've gone from 5 development to 97 development. That's nay bad. And we have a subject. A pretty beefy subject. A march, sure, but still a subject. I don't want them getting too high horsey, but they build a reasonable army. Say hello to being my core. 
It's tempting to state them, but I won't while I'm still paying off my corruption. The autonomy will tick down under the hood at least. Uh, those dallies want to rise up again. Just how big are they going to be? Just 10k of them. Just, he says. So, Arisa... No, Champa. Well, sure, an enemy of Lang Shang is now an enemy of mine. Man, so close. We could have it all if you just weren't so neutral. What drives a man to neutrality? Was he just born neutral? We're getting close to this. Once that annexed subject's malice has gone away, and it will... In five years. Oh, that annexation of Kashar was more recent than I thought then. Still, if we just stay at peace, pay off our corruption, nothing's gonna hurt us. Except our list of enemies, which is rather long. Apparently I have not enough rivals. I would like to pick someone else, but I should wait for somebody that's like, strategic. Then again, Calm is hated by Shu, and I love Shu. I don't want Calm, though. It's just a whole heap of garbage. I would like Bhutan, but they're not about to give that up. And you're allied with Calm. Actually, uh, there is good reason to go to war with you guys. I would need to uh, fight Calm and Utsang, but I'd need Bhutan by my side. I just don't want this garbage land. It just insulates you from institutions. Who else could we have as an enemy? Not Bengal, heavens no. Koch, potentially. I mean, they're, they're a low impact rival to have. And they just about have no friends joining in. The trouble is, it's difficult to declare wars of opportunism because the, the condottieri can come rolling in. Still, I should have somebody as my rival. Not Lang Shang, but I think Calm is a fairly safe bet. Yeah, there we go. I just need that power projection. I can get more of it if I do nasty things to these people. You're not about to give up over threat and war, and I don't want that aggressive expansion. But we should be throwing embargoes left and right. Because I really want that power projection. Jake, humiliate rival. Again, very risky. What if they got, uh, think about who, who hates me. What if Utsang and Pegu both sent Condottieri to come and kill me? Then I'd be fighting tooth and nail for 300 monarch points. I'm a patient man, I can wait. Bide my time. Really though, I want ye deed. If I said that land was of my vital interest, I wonder if they would lift that, um... That guarantee. I could get an alliance with you, it wouldn't be that hard. But I'm already over my relations limit. Or I would be over my relations limit. Thanks to good old being tribal. You could beat MP out of Kamjik. Again, Kam would have Utsang and Guje at their side. They would rustle up a good 25,000 units between them. And then what? I'd fight tooth and nail and get some points. Whoop de do. Right, Dali is apparently winning against you, but I don't like that. I don't want you, Dali making a resurgence here. Let's get that spy network growing in ye. Please be my friend, Shu. That dip rep is hitting me by 12. I just need it to go away. These bastards need to get out of my land. Yes, I'll be buying some Chinese uh, mass-produced maps out of Shu. Go alongside my Chinese flags. But I need them not to be neutral. They'll change once I can get that alliance going, and that alliance will be once my dip rep manages to repair. Until then, we're chilling. We are jiving to the max. And I just need... Yeah. I mean, it is repair mode for us right now. We overexerted massively. It's good to have autonomy actually tick down for change, even though as autonomy ticks 